So the unique thing about a string loop is that there are a lot of different ways to tie them um, and certainly a lot of different wrong ways to tie them. The idea with the string loop is to take torque off of your release at full draw. So on the shorter axle axle bows when you pull them back it's important to have a little bit more forgiveness on that arrow when you're at full draw. There's a right and a wrong way to tie a loop and the way that we tie loops here at Lacrosse Archery is to make sure that we can burn our edges down but we're not lighting them on flame that way they don't get brittle. So we do that top and then we tie our bottom knot that opposes the top knot so every time you pull that, every time you hook on and every time you pull in the string loop, it doesn't loosen up. So you'll see that a little bit in detail if we zoom in a little bit later on, but both the knots on both sides are just opposite of each other. So that's the first part. Uh, we take a look at the rest where that's set up in the center of the shelf on the riser. Uh, we center everything left to right and up and down, and we tie that loop so it's at a, a perfect level with our, with our rest. So as soon as we shoot this through paper, we'll notice here in a few minutes, We'll establish where that loop height needs to be, and then after that we'll actually tie knock spacers above and below. So, let's jump into paper. So the second part of tying our string loop is establishing height. So after we paper tune that, we verify that the loop was at the right height, top to bottom. That way we have perfect knock clearance. The second part, I tied them in two different colors, mainly for clarity and so we can see it in the video. But the reason why we have knock spacers between our loop is that every time we knock an arrow, there's about a 10% gap in between where our knock is and where the knock spacers are. So now when we pull back, of course the string starts flat, but as the further you pull it, at the further draw lengths that you pull, the more aggressive that angle gets. So as soon as it stops at full draw, we want there to be a cushion top and bottom. So if you make a bad shot, it's not as bad as it would be otherwise.